Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com, and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the HTC Home plugin, which is a free plugin available for any Windows Mobile touchscreen device. It makes your home screen have a big clock on it. It'll allow you to flip through the icons. You know, you can check your weather, you can launch programs, you can play songs right from your media card, and you can switch the profiles. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to change it from this to this, which I think looks a lot better. So we have iPhone-esque icons on the bottom here. We have the clock clock tab with a different clock, weather with new icons, program launcher, profiles, and of course the media player. Okay, to get started you need to download a free piece of software. Go to pocketmu.com and go to the top of the website where it says PocketMU Software. From there you'll find links to download the cab which you'll need to load onto your device and run on your device which will install the program. Now right now I'm using an HTC Vogue or a Verizon XV6900 but like I said you can use any Windows Mobile touchscreen device to do this with. So after you install it what you want to do is go into your programs menu when you'll, where you'll see a new entry for HTC Home Customizer. Here it is right here. Okay, here we are. On this first tab, it shows you all of the things you can customize. So we can change the background, and right now it's set to original because this is a, a saved theme that is the original that I wanted to show you. We can go down to clock, we can change the clock, the different style of the clock, we can change these icons along the bottom, and then we can also change what the weather icons look like. So let me go into some of these options. Um, you get a fair amount out of the box. A lot of them are baseball themed for some reason. So if you click on any of the backgrounds, it'll kind of show you a pre preview right above the selection area of what the, the theme will look like. So let me just choose one. Uh, I'm going to go to carbon. Well, that looks pretty much the same, a little bit different. Okay, that'll do it. I'm going to go down the clock and change the clock. Again, you get a few out of the box, though I'll show you in a second how to get even more choices. I'm going to do digital green. Icons, I'm going to change these icons along the bottom. Uh, here we have Vista, let's see what they look like. Well, they look pretty good, I'm going to leave that. And weather, we only have three choices, but I'll show you how to get more. I'm going to change it to cartoon. So they'll kind of look like that. I'm going to change it to shiny, actually. That looks better. I like that. So when you're done, you can click Save. It will ask you, are you sure you want to save? And this is the new Today screen that we just made. We can click onto the weather and see those new icons that we placed. And these icons along the bottom are, are different. And of course, the clock is green. Now, the program does a lot more than just that. I'm going to go back into the program and show you how you can add different kinds of themes and other kind of styles to your today screen. So there are several tabs along the bottom. The second one says themes and this is where you save all of the things that you did in in the appearance tab so that you can come back to it and, and, and apply it later. Uh, for example if you want to go back to the original HTC Home Today screen you can just go to original and it will change it back all of the different settings to the way it was before. If you go to the tab that says downloads, it'll give you a warning saying, you know, uh, if you have a data connection, it's going to use a lot of data. And the, if you press connect to download server, you'll actually be able to download a plethora of other styles. So if we go to clocks, we have a huge list of clocks, much bigger than the one before. So I'm going to find one and show you what to do with it. Uh, let's click on West, and then I'm going to click download here and then it's going to proceed to download it and add it to the list and here it goes it's been added to clocks so if I go back to the appearance tab and go back into clocks I'm going to find West and this is what West looks like kind of ugly actually I don't like it so how do you kind of get an idea of what all these things are without having to download one check it download one check it well there's a tab over to the right called previews and again it gives you an, uh, a message that says be sure that you have a unlimited data connection and you're not going to use a lot of data and what it actually does is it loads a instance of Pocket Internet Explorer right in the program, which is pretty neat. And you can actually click on clocks, and it will load all of the clocks. And I'm over at EVDO connection right now, so it should be pretty fast. So that you can actually get a preview of every single clock that you have an option of. This way you're not wasting time downloading one and checking it, and that sort of thing. 
And then there's this applications button, which lets you download certain HTC applications that are included in other ROMs of other devices. For example, Streaming Media will install a streaming media player that will allow you to go to m.youtube.com and actually watch YouTube videos. Out of the box, a Windows mobile device doesn't support m.youtube.com because it doesn't have the streaming software. But with this, you can just click on it there and it'll actually download it right from the site which is great. We have Launcher which allows you to set which programs open with which buttons. We have the Tabs tab which allows you to take away certain tabs and bring them back from HTC Home. So I'm going to leave them all there. We have Weather which lets you specify the city. Then we have the Options tab which allows you to change the temperature displacement from Celsius to Fahrenheit. You can have the weather automatically update, though that will use up a lot of your battery, I'm sure, because you can't specify how often to update it. And that is how you customize the HTC Home plugin. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to the Pocket Now Video YouTube channel where we're posting new videos all the time. And if you subscribe, you can stay abreast of when new ones are posted. That's it for now.